What's up guys, we're at NAMM 2023. I'm with Mike from D-Drum today, and we're checking out all the brand new products they have to offer. What's going on guys, I'm Mike. Let's take a look at our uh, offerings for 2023. We're just gonna start off here with some electronic items. We have the DDTi here, nothing new. We've had this in the line for quite some time. It did go away. I've, I've seen this before, but I don't really totally understand what this exactly does. So it's basically, it's just an interface. It's, that's what it is. It bridges the gap uh, between accessing sounds from uh, you know, your laptop, whether it's Superior Drummer easier drum whatever program you desire and so this enables you to use those sounds and use them in your recording you can also use this to expand your module if you need more input so it, it does a lot of things uh, especially for like a studio drummer like I said we did have some production problems during the pandemic so we got it situated we're uh, ready to go another thing with this re-release of the DDTI is we updated some of the parameters compatible with a lot more triggers uh, in the market now other pads so you would buy, would you buy this and then get some triggers with uh, along with it triggers. and that would work with it yeah. absolutely you can use triggers you can use pads you can use triggers on the you know acoustic drums with mesh heads yeah any kind of uh, electronics devices that you, know, you need to you know produce a sound okay cool that's uh, the ddti one just real quick on this one like i said we did update it to be compatible with more triggers more hi-hat controllers and it's also compatible with the new m1 chip and windows 10 applications great okay cool uh, this, this is our uh, Neo multi-pad, percussion pad. Just like you know, a lot of other ones on the market, you know, nine pads here, you got two inputs for triggers on the back, you got controllers here, uh, you can run loops, you can add your samples there, uh, you can start and stop you know, loops, all kinds of stuff there to really get you going on a live performance. Yeah, or you so can just the guy that wants to do some backing tracks, this is a perfect, absolutely. perfect way to trigger those you know, from Ableton or whatever it might be. Or another thing is, you, know, you just want a small thing just to play around. Yeah, uh, or you can for whatever, have, whatever kind of sounds you want to get? Yeah, yeah just a small can table. Can you put top. in your own sounds on that? You can. Okay, yeah, cool. It does have the USB uh, stick that you can put your own sounds in. Yep. And like I said, the street's for $399, and that's a pretty uh, attractive price point compared to other models oh, on the market. Yeah. True. Yep. Right, we're going to take a look at our some of our acoustic kits. New for this year, well, kind of last year, but you know, we're still going to promote it here, is our Dominion series in the Birch. We did re release the Dominion series in 2020 with some finishes, uh, the lacquered and wrap. We decided to revisit the wraps and you know make some updates. So we did three new finishes right here we got the uh, paper white birch in the picture here we got the satin babinga finish and then we have a new sexy look here it's a brushed olive metallic which you can get exclusive through uh, guitar center i like the look of that yeah yeah it looks really good three configurations we have a four five and six piece uh, right here we have the four piece the four piece consists of a 20 inch bass drum 12 14 inch racks and a 14 snare five piece 22 10 12 16 14 snare and then the six piece we're adding the uh, additional floor tom so it's kind of nice. you got, you got two tom you can hold two toms here and then you got a second another spot here for what an extra crash and splash ride, whatever accessory ride, yeah. yep mm -hmm. that's cool yeah absolutely 10 lug bass drums 10 lug snares all the okay. pro features yep. that you're going to see on high-end kits and all kinds of add-ons available bass drums toms whatever you need dig it and then the other one, this is like kind of a bop kit. Uh, it is. So um, this is going off our uh, SE Flyer kit, uh, which we still offer, but we've uh, added another configuration. This is our, we call this the SE Flyer Pit Stop. Uh, and basically what this is is a smaller version of the flyer. So we have a 16 inch bass drum, a 10 inch rack tom, 13 inch floor tom, and a 13 inch snare. So a pretty cool kit, you know, very good for your know, small clubs, cafes, you know, maybe small practice kit. Uh, it does have poplar shells. It does come with this tri holder like on the Dominion yep. kit. This one includes the boom arm here, which is pretty cool. It gets yeah. this accessory here. Uh, and it also includes a bass drum lift. Mm -hmm. So you kind of have uh, at least a few pieces there to get you off the, you know, get you off and running. Yep. <laughs> uh, but it comes as a shell pack and these uh, retail, let's see, uh, 439. We do have the two finishes. This is the vintage sparkle and we do have a white marine pearl. And this is our new uh, electronic kit for this year. This is the E-Flex BT9. This is kind of building off our original E-Flex kit, which we launched, uh, I believe it's 2021. It was a small profile kit, had the mesh heads and everything. Uh, people want, you know, wanted a little bit more from our dealers and you know end users so we've kind of made it upgrade it's much bigger we got the bigger rack uh bigger toms bigger symbols extra symbol the kick pad is big i like it that. is so that's the big topper yeah. for this one is uh the big feature is the bigger bass drum yeah i don't know of any 
drum kits at this price point that you're going to find with that size uh, bass drum. You can no. easily accommodate a double pedal if need be, mm -hmm. and it feels great, nice and sturdy. Yep. Uh, what about what got, on Tom's here? It looks like these might be single zones, or are these uh, double? These are single zone. They are single. Okay. Singles. Uh, they are single there. The uh, the uh, snare is the dual zone. Dual zone. Okay. Um, we do have the cymbals have the choke function and all that. So you got two crashes, ride, and a hi hat. Good. Good. Um, it does come all inclusive, including the throne and sticks. So and the kick pedal, pedal comes with. Yes. You. Good. And that's a big feature because a lot of times you're not going to get the throne or the uh, pedal. Yeah. So that's all ready to go. And another big feature is the module, uh, which now has Bluetooth capability. Uh, with the original eFlex, which we found out is uh, we did some research. A lot of people have an iPhone and uh, there's another way to connect it. You play not some anymore. Not Let's anymore. So, that jack. <laughs> so yeah, so what we did is made it Bluetooth, uh, made, uh, include the Bluetooth connectivity and that allows the user, if you have an iPhone or just a regular phone, you can Bluetooth your tunes right into the module and you can yep. play it wrong and uh, no, no, no issues. Awesome. Um, this is going to be available around uh, the uh, spring, or I'm sorry, not spring, uh, fall, yeah. Christmas time. And this okay. is going to retail for six forty nine. Yeah. And does D-Drum have any plans for in the future of coming out with other electronic kits like this one? Absolutely. Whether it be like a more entry level kids kit or like a like a more like you know more drum kind of like you know more toms more kick you know whatever. Absolutely. So so the eFlex symbols. Yeah, absolutely. Our eFlex uh, series is kind of like our entry level. So we're going to do a mid tier and then a high end tier, and it's going to uh, end with our hybrid series. Okay. Which cool. a lot of people you know. That's what I remember is the hybrid yeah. series. Yeah. So yeah, there are a lot of plans to you know expand upon the electronics. Cool. And yeah, this is just our uh, trigger selection here. I mean, this is. You know, pretty much a staple in the D-Drum line. We've, you know, had that pretty much, you know, since almost inception of D-Drum. We have our famous Pro Acoustic series. We have our famous uh, Red Shots. And then we have our Chrome Elite series, uh, which is a newer one. Just to give a little difference between the three, our Red Shot is our budget-friendly one. This includes a quarter-inch plug-in. Like I said, it's an inexpensive, kind of a stripped-down model. If you're on a budget, perfect for, you know, if you're just trying to, you know, electrify your kit and not break the bank, and that's a good option. For the Pro Acoustic, this is like a more more pro model, has the XLR connection for a secure connection. A lot of studio drummers, professional touring drummers prefer that because they like the secure connection and the, the metal casing or chassis because a lot of the ones in the market yeah, have a plastic like yep. and it you know, breaks or whatnot. So mm -hmm. those are pretty much the staples in the trigger line. The Chrome Elite is basically based off of the Acoustic Pro and it, it basically the main difference is the chrome plating. A lot of people like this model because it kind of blends in with the hardware. Yeah. You know, Eric Singer from Kiss liked this. Vinnie Paul, this was his favorite trigger mm -hmm. uh, to use live. And then it does have the updated transducer, which uh, it, it's the same thing. It pretty much does the same thing as the other ones. It's just a little bit more updated to work with some of the newer models uh, of brands on the market that have a lot of parameter adjustments. Yeah. So let's say that you pick up a set of triggers. What all do you need? I see that you co it comes with cables. These clip onto the drums. Yep. Now, where does sounds come from? So you would need a module or uh, interface. Like the one we were talking about. Yeah, the before, interface yeah. or that you can connect to your percussion pad or a module. Mm -hmm. And that's, you can do that. So what that does is if you're, if for a live situation, say you just want to enhance the sound a little bit, you can yeah. use a trigger to really get that attack. Yep. Say you want to blend it with a mic. Again, you want to get the roundness of the acoustics and then to get the attack right, electronics. Yeah, we want to do a do trigger. That. We want to do a sample along yep. with the, you know, the mic. And um, a lot of people, a lot of the bigger touring bands, they'll use triggers for monitors, believe it or not. Yeah. So they won't be necessarily front of house. They're just using it for the band because yeah. it's consistent. Uh, but these are very accurate. I mean, it's industry standard. Exactly. I mean, he's been around for 30 years. And like I said, you can use it for all those applications. Yeah. You can also use it if you just want to convert your acoustic kit, put mesh heads on it, throw some triggers on it, throw it into the module, good to go. Nice, yeah. Kind of wish I had these when we were touring. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you, Mike. No problem, anytime. Good chatting. Thank you.